Hey guys and welcome back. In this video I want to show the latest progress I made on my little tree experiment here. So to begin with, as you can see here I have uh, one straight line and I have a, a tree thing over here. So this one is actually the one I'm moving around. It's generated by an L system and this one is generated by a recursive function which obviously calls itself uh, a number of times. So I wanted to make a little comparison uh, between these two. So what I have done here is um, to take a, a number of steps and create those steps. So I have 40 steps in this situation here, which is just an example. And then I say I will branch at a certain frequency, which I just thought about. I might want to make a range, so it depends on uh, some kind of randomness between two numbers, uh, like I have down here. For example, I can set um, various degrees. To allow it to generate something a little bit random so every time i move this one around it also generates something random but i actually think it would be nice to also add this branch frequency here so if i set this to let's say a branch every uh, 25 segments it should uh, generate another branch we can't see anything right now because i have this step decrease at uh, each branch so if I set this also to 25, then we'll, it will create one branch going some, somewhat up and the other one is going to continue the full length and the other one is only going to be half. So let's scale this down a little bit to something a little bit more reasonable. I said 15 and I think 3 and 4 was looking pretty okay yeah so you can see this doesn't really look like a tree right now but if we give it a rotation like 25 then we get something looking like this and if we also give it a roll at every branch give it the this 137.5 the golden angle then suddenly we get something looking pretty much like a, a tree and it actually allows us to get, get something quite similar to the L system. While actually sometimes looking a little bit better. All right, so also I have improved the tracing logic a little bit. So if I move this under my sphere here, it will try to wrap itself around. It's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's doing most of the time a good, pretty good job. So sometimes you just need to move it around a little bit and then it will figure out how to put itself. And obviously it also works with something like a custom mesh like this rock here. So. So yeah, as I said, this is still pretty basic, I would say. Uh, it still needs some work and it's definitely not something you wanna have in your scene for a real time scene because it consists of a lot of static uh, spline meshes. So you definitely wanna generate a static mesh out of this in case you wanna use this for anything. So right now I would just say this is mostly for anything for something like a cinematic scene or something or just for as a playground as it is in my case here. But yeah, it's still pretty good fun to play around with. And also I would say adding leaves with either of these two methods. I haven't really thought about how to do it with an L system 
because right now I only have one row with two symbols, uh, F and the G, while the, where the G is only used to evolve the tree itself. And the F is used for moving, the minus is rotating and plus for rotating the other way around and the, the square brackets for controlling the branches. Um, so in order to grow leaves, either I would have to introduce some kind of probability like I did with the, this new setup here, or I would have to introduce some kind of I don't know, um, like a symbol for that. Uh, that is something I still need to look into. I haven't really read all the literature uh, around it. it. Has so much stuff to read and so much so little time. So I haven't really, yeah, figured out what what the best approach is. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see if I can get time to implement some some leaves and maybe also some additional handling handling for uh, getting this things like this sorted out a little bit better because sometimes it does seem to produce some weird angles with some of the, the branches here and also sort of the overlapping and so on but yeah um, it's pretty pretty f good fun and a nice little brain workout, I would say. So yeah, um, hope you all enjoyed and uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, if you have questions on how to build this stuff, uh, just ask on my channel. Uh, I'd be happy to show what I did and maybe build it uh, on video. So yeah, bye bye for now.